Okay, so I'm going to talk you through our new case study, which is our case study of a heavy industry. So we studied a light industry, which works with light products. That was Intel Ireland. Now we're going to study a heavy industry um, that uses heavy, bulky resource materials or raw materials. And the name of this industry is Rusal Ahanish. Um, I suppose it was always just known as Ahanish, but I think a Russian company took it over in recent years. So Rusal Ahanish is its proper term. So basically, to summarise up this factory, it makes alumina, which is then shipped abroad to make aluminium. And you know well, you've heard of aluminium before, it's used to make tin cans and tin foil, and I'll show you a couple of more examples soon. So our heavy industry is Rusal Ahanish. Okay, so in the picture in front of you, you can see that it's a pretty big site, it's a pretty big plant, a big factory. Um, they often refer to it as an alumina refinery. So... A refinery is just another word for a factory, really. Um, so just in case you see those terms. So it's a pretty big site. It's located on the water because it's a heavy industry. It's going to need to ship in and out its products. OK, so it's located on Ahanish Island. Um, and if you just look at the picture there and take the time, it's it's right on the River Shannon. OK, so you study the River Shannon. It's the longest river in Ireland. You know that the River Shannon enters the sea. Um, it, its mouth is located on the Shannon estuary. So it, it kind of enters the sea there. Um, and in that Shannon estuary, it's like a little inlet of water. You can see that they're quite sheltered, um, but it's a pretty big space as well. And it's fine, deep water. So it's deep enough for the ships to come in. So you can see where Ahanish Island is pointed out there in the picture. So that's where the factory of Ahanish is located. Um, it's an ideal location because they're able to import in their raw material and they're able to export out the alumina. So it just makes sense for them to locate a heavy industry there. Um, nearby is Limerick City. So you can imagine a lot of workers come in from there. Askeaton, Fynes, Rakeel, Newcastle West, anywhere where they have a red kind of a a circle located beside them that's where they're getting their workers in from so it's an ideal location okay it's located 28 kilometers from limerick city on the shannon estuary so it's really really close to limerick city um but i suppose just remember where its location is it's on the shannon estuary it's on ahanish island the picture you're looking at there you can see the the factory of ahanish located in the kind of right background it's a pretty pretty big plant you can see a lot of um smoke coming out the chimney stacks there the big long i suppose walkway in the middle is the jetty the jetty needs to extend from the factory out into the water because it needs the ships can only come in so far those ships that bring in the raw material are pretty big they need deep water so that's the furthest point that the ships can come in um, so that's big walk kind of extending out there is called the jetty. So any workers that would be unloading the raw materials or loading the alumina onto the ships, they would need to drive out along that jetty in their vans and that's where they would be working from. OK, so it's a heavy industry. It's called Ahanish. It's located along the Shannon Estuary. It takes workers from all parts of West Limerick. Um, and we'll go through the rest of the details now. So in Ahanish, they make alumina, which is sent abroad to make aluminium. Okay, so they just make the alumina. They send it to a factory abroad. They make the aluminium. So the alumina that they make is like a white powder. Okay, exactly what you see in the picture there in front of you. When that is sent abroad, that is smelted down, usually in Scandinavian countries, and it makes aluminium. OK, so just in Ahanish, in Limerick, they just make the alumina. What do we use aluminium for? We use it to make drinks cans. So all of us have drank out of a can, for God's sake, at some stage. That's aluminium. Tin foil. Most of your parents would use tin foil um, in the kitchen. Maybe they, you use it for your lunch. Pots and pans. Maybe you have aluminium pots and pans at home. Um, they'd be very sturdy and they'd last a long time. Window frames, actually. They'd be good sturdy window frame to have. Beer kegs, you've all seen them outside pubs. Um, airplane parts, because they're very robust, strong, sturdy material. Alloy wheels, um, they're nice to buy them for cars. They make cars look good. Um, and ladders. 
again strong storage and material so you can imagine there's a big demand out there to make alumina and to make aluminium so what is this raw material that makes the alumina it's called bauxite okay so bauxite i suppose it's, it looks like um I suppose a red kind of a rock doesn't it and that's exactly what it is it's a reddish clayish rock it's actually located on the top soil we've studied soil already you have the 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 top soil you have the subsoil all the different layers so it's very very close to the surface so it's easy to mine it out so they mine it or dig it out of the ground so it's a reddish kind of a rock usually you find it in tropical regions okay so we wouldn't really be able to source that bauxite from ireland or anywhere in europe it's usually found in tropical regions um inside in that rock in that red um rock that you see in front of you inside that bauxite it's got loads of ingredients it's got alumina it's got a bit of aluminium in it already it's got some silica it's got some iron and it's even got some titanium so it's a pretty pretty sturdy rock built up of good materials so bauxite is an aluminium ore and it is mined from the surface okay so they dig it out from the surface it's quite close to the surface so when they bring the bauxite in to Ahnish factory they process it into alumina so the inputs are bauxite now as you can see they add soda and they add lime they add the, them to reduce any impurities in the alumina. So when they want to produce the alumina, they want that white powder to be as perfect as possible so that it makes a really good aluminium. So they add soda and lime to the process to make sure that you get the purest, best form of alumina possible. Obviously, other inputs would be labor. I think they employ something like 450 people from the local area. That's really important. Some are skilled workers. Some have been trained in electricity. They require a lot of electricity. Um, they actually set up their own power plant even on site in like 2000 or 2001. So imagine that they even produce their own electricity and they even give some of that electricity to the ESB and Electric Ireland to power up our houses. That'll tell you the amount of electricity they need. It's a factory that never shuts down. It runs 365 days a year. Um, and water they need water to produce steam in the process okay they need to add water and add steam in the process and they're making it now you don't need to write about the processes in too much detail you just need to write the bare minimum for it so just going back to the inputs the main inputs are the bauxite which is that reddish um, rock that they import in from tropical regions they add soda, they add lime, they also need labour, they need electricity, they need water. So their inputs are quite basic. The processes, so what do they do? They crush the bauxite. So that red rock that they get in, they crush it down in as good as they can into a powder form. They add in the soda and the lime. So as you can see in the second bullet point there, they mix the raw materials. They leave them digest. So that means they leave them mix in together. They would add a bit of steam, a bit of water into that process as well. And then they leave it dry. So they leave that powder dry out. Okay. Then it is ready to ship it out. So that would be the biggest output. Alumina. And they send that abroad. Usually to Scandinavian countries. Because they're usually the regions. And typically countries that would always smelt. And make aluminium. The other output is mud waste. Basically there's a waste product left over. From when they're making the alumina. And it's a red mud. Okay, it's basically what's left over from the bauxite, from that red rock. That mud, they store it on site in a big kind of like a pond, but there's nothing they can do with it yet. Scientists are still working on ways to figure out, you know, is there anything we can do with this red mud? Um, unfortunately, they haven't found anything yet. Okay, I've just included two pictures, but some of you, you know, might understand these. If you don't, it's fine. So they basically, like in the picture in front of you it's like a slurry mixer they're adding in the bauxite they crush it down they add in soda they add in lime they leave it digest they leave it mixed together then they add in a little bit of um oh yeah they remove out the red mode out of it then the bit that they don't want they filter it they add a bit of precipitation a bit of water a bit of steam and then they ship it off out okay so i hope those i explained it okay to you so they export the alumina, that white powder, to smelters in the UK and Scandinavia. Um, 
uh, the smelters literally just they smelt they melt it down okay so they can turn it into aluminium um so like i say scandinavian countries are traditionally always the countries that take um alumina and manufacture aluminium so alumina is smelted into aluminium you can see it in a solid block version there obviously you can get it in loads of different forms i bring in my order and tell them i want drink cans or i want tin foil or they have loads of different molds to kind of make the different products okay so i hope that's okay and i'll put on another video shortly to explain why they chose to locate there